Well, hello there, and welcome back, you lovely lot. Today, we're going to do an acrylic diamond facet design. And what I'm going to do is use all these colours. That's right. Not a few, but loads. Loads and loads and loads. So what I've done is I've got a light and a dark of each colour and then a glitter in each colour. They're all glitter bells today, including glass slippers and monomer. So what I'm going to do first of all is each one I want to be slightly different. So what I've done is I've gone in with a dark colour bottom left as you look in the screen and then light colour bottom right and then in the corner at the top right I'm going to use that dark pink again so that will be like the outline and then in the middle between those two dark strips I'm going to do a marble of the light the dark and the glitter so the dark pink is Pinkie Pie the light pink is Baby Powder and pink crush is the glitter so I will marble that between those two leave that to set and then go on to the next nail which will be the yellow so this dark yellow is citronella now what I'm going to do is ombre these and then put lemon crush between the two now the idea is that the crushes of these glitters which are uh, acrylic glitters that means that the glitter is mixed in with clear acrylic so you just need to pick up your brush with monomer and pick up a bead in the same way and the idea is that when we put the diamonds on later the crushes which is the glitter will shine through I'm ever so sorry I'm getting distracted it's raining outside and it is belting against this window it's so strong it's quite scary. My daughter's going to be driving back in this in another couple of hours. And it's like flipping heck. Right, okay, where are we? Yep, so ombre those and put that glitter across. Now, potassio is the green that I'm going to be using here. Ah, I'm trying to think what I did. Yeah, I did a full coverage of the green all over the nail then what I'm gonna do is like put veins in it so the contrasting green that I'm going to be using is turtle treasure so I'm just gonna make sure that that's nice and neat around that cuticle area and that I've got full coverage where I want it before coming in with that turtle treasure and putting lines down vertically then using the end of my brush and just tap 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 then in between that I'm coming in with Fairy Crush put a little bit of that potassio just to break it up because the glitter kind of took over get it off the skin so once I'm happy with that I'll then move on to the next nail now this is all for effect you're going to see the light shade the dark shade and then the shimmer of those crushes coming through the reason I use the crush glitters acrylics is because they are really subtle, beautiful. Right, okay, so this is lavender shimmer. Now this marbles a little bit, you can see it there, but as the minute you start to stroke that out, gone. So what I'm going to do is pop that on, drag it down and cover that nail. Then I'm going to come in with Purple Passion and do the veins again. I'm just guiding my brush so that it blends into the wet acrylic underneath. Then I'm coming in with Lilac Crush and I put some glitters on there, which is what you can see me do here just a little bit where the diamond's going to go that's what I'm looking for and you're picking up such a teeny tiny bead 
flatten it down. Then a bit more of that lavender shimmer just to break it up so it's not too dark. Like I said, to give that sort of veiny effect which, that you actually see through the diamond later on. But we'll come to that. Wow, I bet you can hear that, can't you? I bet you can hear that. It is building up a proper storm out there. Wow. Right, okay. We are... It's even setting the dogs off next door. They've got big Alsatians next door and it's setting them off. Um, right, what we've got here, we have broken gold. I love, love, love this. Now, first of all, I picked up a bead and I, what I'm going to do is frame around the edge of every nail. So at first I picked up a bead and I feathered it out around the edge, on the very, very edge, but I was, it was getting too much. So what I've started to do, and if the big, the pieces of gold that I pick up are too big, I am taking them out. So what I started to do was just tip the end of my brush and you can see me doing it there in the bottom right and just putting a little bit around the edge very very carefully just to edge this nail. I found that picking up the bead there was too much that's not what I wanted. It was too much acrylic and too much of the broken gold. So I go around the edge of all of them I'm just going to show you a couple of nails because it took forever because I was just dipping my brush in very very lightly just the very very tip you can see what I'm doing here so I will continue to edge this last nail in broken gold which again is a premixed glitter which means it's mixed with clear acrylic. I had this one and I had to add treasure hunt, but I always go for this one. Always, always, always. And then I found a, a normal glitter that's got flakes of gold in. I don't know where I got it from, I wish I did. Because I really, really do like this sort of effect. I've used it in quite a few videos. The raw glitter, I mean, not, not this one. I think I asked in the last one that if anybody knew where it was from to let me know. Because I do like to work with raw glitters. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I will then start to cap. So I pick up a large bead of glass slippers tuck it in behind that cuticle area and then drag that down take off any excess because that was rather large and then tap it in blend it back checking the sides I need a little bit more right at the back there right in there and then blend it down Make sure I'm happy with that and then I will clear cap the rest of them and then we're coming in with these. So I'm going to show you the ones that I have. So there's large diamonds, little diamonds and these are the ones we're going to use. So cut out the ones that I want. I'm going to put base coat down. Generous amount of base coat. I'm not saying it's got to be an inch thick, but do not skimp on this. Needs to be a generous amount. Now I've never done this before, and I wasn't quite sure. I read the instructions on the back that I just showed you. Peel the film off. It says it's sticky. It's, it wasn't sticky at all, but it doesn't matter because it's going into base coat. But even so, I'm not going to touch it and put finger marks all over it. And what I do is put it into that base coat now I'm just going to do two fingers at a time to start with where am I going to put it position it where I want it using my tweezers push it into that base coat 
then once I'm happy making sure it's not sticking out anywhere you don't want that you just want it to be flat so I'm putting it on the widest part of the, of the nail then I'm going to flash cure that because it was sliding so I'm just going to flash cure it if you notice I've pushed the middle finger out of the way and it's just going to go onto the ring finger putting a little bit more on that middle finger come in with the next one put it on and push it in then what I do is come in with the base coat wipe, wipe the brush take it all off all off and I'm going to smooth out where I pressed it in and take it off I don't want a thick chunky nail but I need that to be cushioned within the base coat then I'm going to give that a double cure so that gets two minutes in the lamp look at that isn't it amazing I love 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 this effect I'm going on holiday in February and let me tell you I'm going to be doing one of these on my ring finger because I love it I'm going to do exactly the same process on the other two nails putting it on the widest part so it doesn't stick out putting a generous amount of base coating so it cushions it round the sides shake jake there and then what again i give that two minutes in the lamp once i'm perfectly happy with that again take off that excess you don't want excess gel on that nail I still keep that shape that you filed in you don't want lumpy bumpy gel on there once that's been in the lamp I'm then coming in with a thin coat of top coat and I say thin so what I'm doing is going around that diamond facet and down the nail it's already got base coat on there it's a beautiful clear decal doesn't need lots and lots of top coat not in my opinion anyway I didn't want a chunky nail I didn't want the nail to go out of shape and this is where everything just comes to life you can see through those diamonds you can see the sparkly crushes and that beautiful gold that edges around those nails love 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 these nails I've got to say guys let me know what you think I'd love to know what you think and have you ever had a go at these I know Kirsty Meekin's done them a couple of times, hasn't she? Right then, guys, this will then go in the lamp for a full cure. And then that's the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.